So, you decided to get linear rails for your 3D printer. You got everything squared up and aligned properly, and now you can just kind of let it be and not have to really worry about adjustments anymore or anything like that, right? Well, not exactly. So let's talk about that. It doesn't matter whether you got genuine high wind rails or some cheap Chinese rails you got on Amazon or AliExpress. They both need regular maintenance. Not every linear rail is exactly the same. So we're going to be talking about particularly MGN 12 rails, which are the most common ones you're going to find on 3D printers. That being said, the concept applies to every linear rail. You see, when you have a linear rail, it is in fact metal on metal contact. Flipping it around, you'll see ball bearings that slide along the rail and move through the carriage as it goes around. Now, eventually you're going to need to lubricate those ball bearings because metal on metal contacts eventually leads to friction and that's not good you want these things to glide nice and smooth friction is your enemy here so how do you go about properly lubricating those ball bearings let's first talk about the type of lubricant that we're going to use now when it comes to genuine high wind rails which this particular one is not well, that also being said, there's a number of different lubes you can use. Everything from oil, if you're in an application that doesn't have a lot of load, or grease will also work as long as you use a reasonable amount and apply it the proper way. For documentation regarding what type of lube to use for what load rating, as well as the intervals for re-lubricating with those types of lubricants, Refer to the high wind documentation that I have linked to in the description. So pray tell you may ask, how does one get lubrication into these carriages? Well, that's what this is for. We're using a blunt tip syringe. And the reason we use that is because MGN 12 rails have a little port that we can, let's see if we can focus in on this here they have a little port right here on both sides of the carriage for you to inject grease into the system it goes in like that and you push the plunger down now it's going to be kind of hard to get the plunger to push down because we are shoving grease through a needle it does work but it's quite slow so we'll have to be careful. And if you're pushing this needle in all the way, you might not get uh, grease to apply properly because you're blocking it. Now, when you're applying the grease, you preferably want to move the carriage. So that way you can kind of plunge in the grease as well as get that grease moving along the ball bearings a little bit. It's going to be a little more difficult when this is already attached to your printer, but we're going to go over how to get it done uh, with this here demonstration, so at least you can understand the basics. Now, it's pretty hard to get uh, the grease in there, but we're going to attempt to uh, do a few things at once here. So, on one side, I'm going to be plunging the grease, and I want to see if we can kind of get a visual of the grease going in. a little bit a little bit cumbersome we are plunging grease in which is good I guess if you use the needle to push the rail as you're plunging it in should get it to move in and then we're just gonna Move that around and don't forget the other side also has a grease port. Now, the reason why we're talking about MGN 12 for this particular situation is because larger carriages out there you do in fact have a Zerk fitting that you can affix to the carriage and that'll allow you to use a proper grease gun. For these little carriages, which all things considered, these are pretty small. Uh, given the options there are out there for linear rails or different applications. Um, 
This is about the best you can do. I don't believe there are Zerk fittings that you can get for these. But, I'm getting it all lubed up. All right. So that is the technical proper way to lube a linear rail. There are other ways you could go about lubing the linear rail if you absolutely have to, and there's no way for you to get to it. The slot right here where the ball bearings uh, roll on, I have in the past just simply applied some lube directly onto these slots and then I'll run the carriage over it and that should also lubricate the rail as well as the ball bearings as it goes over. So that's another way you could do it. It's not the proper way to do it but that's you know worst case scenario and just do that but uh yeah linear rails they're actually fantastic little things i love these for an upgrade for consistency's sake they do an amazing job but just be aware you do still have to do some maintenance on these they're not a set and forget you need to remember to lube the rails but beyond that you can get these blunt tip syringes on amazon for like five seven bucks for a pack of them uh, super lube you can get online you can go to harbor freight they also have it this stuff's been fantastic for me and uh linear rails good stuff